What's going on guys, it's Afraid Not and I'm bringing you episode 2 of our Little Weapon Guide series that I've put together. If you missed the first episode, it's basically just this little series that I'll be playing and um, as I'm learning Battlefield 4 and playing through, because I'm playing it actually quite a lot at the moment, more than I first anticipated that I would play it. But um, I'm going to be playing through, I'll be going through some of the guns I'm using and I'll be giving you a few tips, a few tricks on how... How did I miss that guy? <laughs> did anyone see him on the floor? <laughs> Yeah, so I'll be going through the guns and um, I'll be posting videos just as I use them, just so I can give you guys just a sort of a guide on how I use them, how I've done the best out of them and if they're any good or not. Yeah, so as you can tell, on this episode I'll be covering the Scar H. Now, what can I say about the Scar H that hasn't been said already in first person games? Now, normally, historically, I'm talking about Call of Duty, it's normally a gun with a low recoil and a high damage. Now, this gun, I can't really say the same for Battlefield 4. It's it's got a bit of a low damage, a bit on the low side, and the recoil is quite a lot, but it's manageable. We're starting to establish a little pattern with these ARs on Battlefield 4, is that burst firing is key on this game at the moment. I've gone through a few guns now, I've played with a few, but I just, as, as I said, we're talking about the Scar H on this one. Um, but yeah, I mean, burst firing is absolute key on this game. The Scar H's rate of fire isn't as high as the AK-12, it's actually 620, which is 620 rounds a minute, if you guys didn't know. So with it being a fairly low fire rate, you can manage the recoil a lot better, although I still recommend burst firing. This weapon only has two fire modes, and that's semi-automatic and fully automatic, so you can't actually set it to burst fire, unlike other ARs, but you, you can obviously just burst fire whilst it's on fully automatic. Just pull the trigger back and you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> but one thing I will say about this gun which slightly confuses me is the clip size. Now the clip size is only 20. Now if you played Modern Warfare 2, um, that also had 20 rounds in the clip of the Scar H. Now I can understand that on that game because it had a high fire rate, very low recoil and very high damage. So, so I can understand it being 20 rounds in a clip, but on this game not so much really, because as I said the damage isn't there. If the damage was high I can understand it being 20, you know, if you've got a high damage, um, more chance of hitting someone or killing someone quicker, I can understand that. But this game I can't really, I don't know if any of you guys who have played with a Scar might be able to advise me and say, you know, you're wrong, this is why it's 20, but at the moment I can't see why it is. And I don't think there's an attachment that you could do for extended mags which is unfortunate. The hit fire spread on this gun is generally good. I've come up a few times just being point blank range with someone I've managed to mow them down with hit fire but again because there's only 20 rounds in the clip you can't really do that for too long. And this clip here sort of um, pretty much shows you what you're going to get when you use the Scar H. You can absolutely pile bullets into a general direction of enemies but you will run out of ammo so <laughs> please bear that one in mind and pick your shots carefully. I will commend this gun on its reload speed. I think the reload speed is actually really good. It, it's fairly quick. For an AR, it is pretty quick. I don't know if you've spotted it in this video. Quite a few times, I do tend to reload every time I kill someone. So I've showcased that enough, and I don't know why I needed a ride there. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, we'll just ignore that one. But yeah, the accessories on the gun, again, it's same as the uh, AK-12, which I've already covered. I would always use a red dot. An angled grip, like I said, I would repeat myself quite a few times. So an angled grip, I would definitely suggest on all ARs. To be be perfectly honest at the moment I haven't really found another grip that I think is better although there might be one there but I haven't actually come across it yet so on a whole I really do enjoy using this gun again maybe not for conquest or rush which I've been getting into quite a lot rush would actually be quite a good weapon for it actually sorry yeah thinking about it yeah rush definitely I would play it on because it's so actually co close quarters I didn't realize how fun rush was until yesterday when I started playing but yeah, um, stick with Domination TDM for this gun. That's always the safe bet as well. I will bring out some long distance guns, but I'm going to bring out the submachine gun next. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a rating. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.